One of the problems of being a composer is laziness. Sometimes you just can't be bothered. Wouldn't it be nice to have a computer work out the notes for you? Here's a patch which tries to do just that. Um, in the middle here we see a drunk object, which will produce a stream of numbers which will wander around drunkenly uh, in a random way. It's starting at the moment at note number 60. When I press this button object it'll send a bang to the drunk object which will get it to send out a new note. And here it's leapt up 3 to 63. Let's get another new note. It's leapt up 1 to 64. Different size leaps. You can see the leaps here in the max window. I've set up this slightly clunky piece of mathematics here which lets me see what the size of my leaps were as we sent bangs to the drunk object. Um, the size of the leap, you can see that we're getting leaps anything between 0 and plus 3 or it would actually go down to minus 3. That's controlled by this number here, the number 4. And we'd find this out by looking up in the help file for drunk that that uh, number 4 there means leap anything between 0 and 1 minus 4 or in the negative direction. So 0, 1, or 2, or 3, or minus 1, or minus 2, or minus 3. The second number here, and I, uh, and I can change that number here using this number box, so let's get some bigger leaps. Okay, and let's set that back to what we had it before. And this number here is, is uh, controlling the whole range. So again, if we set that to a much lower number here, we now get notes right at the bottom end of the keyboard because we uh, set the range of where we're drunkenly walking around to to be much lower. Now, to make this happen rhythmically, to turn it into a, a melody, I've set up a metronome here which will tick every 500 milliseconds. So off we go and do that. And that's the beginnings of my uh, randomly walking drunken melody. Now, this says Metro 500. This is new. 500 is what's called an argument. It's like a default setting, so this metronome will run at 500 milliseconds if it doesn't receive any other messages. With this number box here, I can override that and make that go faster, so let's change that number. Or slower. Um, so as I say, you'll notice that a number we put in here overrides this typed in argument. This number 500 here really doesn't have any meaning once we start sending messages to this second inlet. There are more examples of arguments here, drunk1284, in the same way these are arguments, and actually here's an interesting one, print leap. Leap there is actually an argument, and it makes the word leap appear in the max window. Here's another example of an argument here. In fact, my make note object has two arguments. What this means is to make a MIDI note with a velocity of 127, which lasts for 450 milliseconds. Once again, I could change the length of my notes. Um, and this is useful because if I make this go a little bit faster again, we'll be able to set that back to where it was. We'll probably be able to hear a slight problem. Um, you can hear that now my notes are 450 milliseconds long, but they're coming every 200 milliseconds, which means sometimes they overlap and sometimes some of them get cut off. What we'd like is that as the tempo gets faster, the notes actually get shorter. So let's program that. I'm going to unlock the patch by going Command E. Over here I'm going to type N to make a new object, and then minus to make a minus object, type a space, and go, let's say, minus 20, which means subtract 20. Then I'm going to take the speed of my uh, metronome in milliseconds and subtract 20 from it and send that to my make note. That means that my notes will always be 20 milliseconds shorter than the speed the tempo is going at. So let's just lock the patch and set that running there and see that working. <laughs> And you can see there that as I change the speed, that's changing the um, length of my notes. Um, one other thing that we can do here to make it more musical 
Um, you'll notice that sometimes we get repeated notes. There is a way of setting it so we never get a repeated note. It's a bit obscure, but if I unlock that and I change drunk four to drunk minus four, um, this is again, this is the sort of thing you'd have to look up in the in the help file, but what that actually does is it has the effect of never putting out a leap of zero. And if we speed that up a bit, we've really got now quite a nice drunken melody. Computer-generated atonal jazz. That's what we're here for. <laughs>